How's it going everyone? It's Gavin at Balls to You. Um, woke up this morning, saw a female laying eggs. Uh, so I've left her pretty much till I got home from work. So I'm going to take her off the eggs. As you can see I had a dew on the 14th of the 5th. Uh, it's actually the 18th of the 5th, so she's four days over, which is fine. They can go anything from sort of, I think it's 21 days up to 45 days. The average is around about 30. So, uh, you know, it's not too bad. But let's uh, let's see what we got. Uh, she, obviously it's a spider het hypo or het orange ghost. And she was bred to an orange dream blade. So, fingers crossed we can get some nice combos out of this girl. So, she's a first time mum. A nice cl clutch of eggs there. So I'm going to get her off the eggs and then we'll cut back and we'll see exactly how many eggs we've got. Okay, and we're back. Right, got her off the eggs. Uh, pretty uneventful to be honest with you. She is done laying and we have seven perfect eggs. Uh, they are all fertile, which is what we like. She's a first time mum, which is fantastic. She was uh, bred to a orange dream blade. So we're looking for the best outcome on this clutch could be obviously a uh, Dream B possible het for Hypo or possible het for Orange Dream, uh, orange Ghost. So really looking forward to this clutch. Uh, so there is some nice Orange Dream fingers crossed babies in here. So I'm going to cut out. I'll come back. Obviously we're going to get these set up in the incubator. Uh, how they're laid is how they stay. I don't separate them. Just so you guys know, I've been asked that a few times. So the only thing is, if they are, if there is one loose, obviously I will sort of secure it wherever I feel necessary. Obviously I do mark the tops, just in case. God forbid if they ever roll, but at least I know where the top is. So we'll chuck these in the incubator. We'll cut back, and then basically we'll do a bit of a cleaning video. Show you guys what we do after the eggs have been collected off mom, uh, prepping her, getting her back ready in a nice clean environment uh, and ready to start eating again okay guys speak to you guys in a minute okay guys right we've put the eggs in the incubator they're all set up and done okay uh, this is another important part that most people don't realize that they need to do that is equally as important as anything else okay so we've cleaned out her tub we've given her a hide a fresh uh, new uh, sorry a new water bowl with fresh water in there okay uh, new substrates, I use unprinted paper, uh, that's just what I use, I find it's the best, I don't have any issues with it whatsoever, so for those who have seen my videos before know exactly how I do things, so unfresh, uh, unprinted fresh paper, uh, and what we're going to actually do is we're going to clean the area in here, okay, where the tub is going to go back, because the smell is going to have risen and sort of get to the underneath of the, uh, the enclosure, okay especially if it's not a lidded tub, okay, like these aren't lidded tubs. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a scrubby brush, and I'm gonna teach you to suck eggs, okay guys? So obviously you're gonna disinfect, spray it all, and basically guys, you're gonna work your way from the front to the back, okay? Again, I'm teaching you to suck eggs, guys, but, okay, and that's all you're gonna do, all the way through. runners like so and we're also going to do this area here like so okay, so that's all fresh disinfected dry that off I know you can't see much guys, but all I'm doing is just drawing off the area, okay? And that's that, okay? That's important. Like I said, the smell of the eggs is not only in the tub, it's risen as well, it's also on the underneath. We need to get the smell of the eggs away from the female, okay, to get her feeding. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut out now. I'm going to go and sort of bath the female, get her ready, 
and I'm going to come back. I'm going to tell you a bit more about the data that we're filling. Um, the, the data side of things, um, we basically fill in the uh, how many eggs, what date she laid, what date she's due, how many slugs, if slugs, obviously there was no slugs, any infertile eggs, which there was no infertile eggs. So she's had seven good eggs. Um, we're also going to put the weight of the female after she's laid. Uh, I don't weigh the eggs. Um, I don't see the, the point personally. I, that's just me. Some people do. I don't. Okay. But what I do find is important: I weigh the female before breeding season, or at the start of breeding season, and then I weigh her at the end. Um, nine times out of ten, you can roughly figure out. You know, if she's had seven eggs. Them eggs are roughly going to be about 110 grams each, there or thereabouts. So sure enough, she she probably would have lost about 770 grams in weight. Okay, at the start of the breeding season, she was around about 1,400 grams. Obviously, they put on weight as they go through the breeding season. So that's what I tend to find. Like I said, whatever the weight of the eggs is, is exactly what she's lost, and that is what it is. Um, the only thing I like to do is at the start of this breeding season, for example, I know she was 1,400 grams next season I like them to have 200 grams on top of that okay so that when they do go into the feeding you know the, the crazy sort of freezing uh, feeding frenzy side of things um, they're basically just banging on weight okay so at the start of every breeding season if I've bred the female before obviously I haven't with her but next season I would like her to be about 200 grams heavier than what she was this season that's how I find is important and what I do regarding my females okay I'm not bothered about them being massive I'm not bothered about them being you know this that and the other as long as they are 200 grams or above the weight or round about the same weight I suppose if you wanted to but I like just to have them above that weight and then basically we can sort of get them breeding again for the next season okay guys so I'm gonna cut out here I'm gonna come back obviously we'll have female back in there I'll show you what we're gonna do regarding the the, um, the data and stuff, how we record things, and then we can go from there. All right, guys, I'll speak to you in a minute. Okay, right, next stage, we've cleaned the female. Okay, we're going to weigh her and see exactly what she's lost. Um, like I said, guys, she's had seven eggs. Roughly, they're going to be about 110 grams each, these eggs are. Okay, so we started off at the start of the breeding season. She was coming in at just under 1400 grams so let's get the weighing scale set up and see what we get come on sweetheart absolutely love this girl fantastic come on sweetheart no? okay put her in calm her down okay you can't see that I don't think but she's coming in at 1318 so that's uh 1318 grams okay that's after she's laid seven eggs so she would have been roughly around about the 2k mark or 2000 grams when she uh, when she laid them eggs so we're going to record that data now so I'm going to just put her back she's all done ready to go into a new enclosure come on sweetheart and have a rest go on Oops, sorry guys. So, get our data board. Uh, I can't show you too much on here because it's top secret. I'm joking. And what we're going to do, obviously we've got the... Where is she? There she is. So we've got 1,321 grams. So she was 1,321 grams at the start of the breeding season. Now she is 13... 18. So she's basically three grams off what she was at the start of the breeding season, which is fantastic. So that is where you want to be. So now, obviously, I've filled in the other data. Uh, you know, obviously, how many eggs were they good? Were they bad? When they were laid? When they due? So all that data is taken care of. Obviously, this is the lock side of things. She locked three times to my orange dream blade. Um, and yeah, so that's the data. 
that's that we also do her card as well her feeding card the records so obviously I've already done that that we put down there on the date that she laid uh, and then we can basically obviously start a feeding record back off again okay that goes there that's all done so that's how we do things guys that's why we record the data this helps a lot when you're looking back over your breeding season I always advise anyone to sort of keep your with any uh, breeding records anything like that you know this is this is important okay guys thanks again for watching thanks for all my uh, subscribers uh, for your support it's fantastic um, really hope you're enjoying the videos hope they're really useful and please 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 share comment like and subscribe um, and just let everyone know where you got all this great information from okay guys